Today we're going to make a cocktail for under $30 that utilizes a vodka. This is going to be exciting. And Coke and bitters. It's going to be awesomely exciting. It's amazing. Save 15% off everything at awesomedrinks.com. Coupon code CMC415. Welcome to Call and Make Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shaw. We're going to go in the Ian Andrews and we're going to make a cocktail for you today. Under $30. You guys may notice I'm wearing the same shirt as I wore yesterday. That's because I'm a scrub. The trick of, of Shit. cameras. Oh, I, thought I you started changed. It before I was going to remind you to. This changed. cocktail comes in at exactly $30. Exactly. So, um, I don't have my cherry cola. Oh, really? You know you what? List. I thought Tito's was like. Well, what's the problem? Are you afraid that this is going to be over thirty dollars? Are you trying no, to? No, I was just. I just want to see what the exact breakdown is. Tito's vodka, Coke, cherry bitters. Boom! And That's here's it. how this works. This is eight forty nine. I know that because we sell them, and I felt very confident about that. See, I felt very confident about that, but I wasn't really sure. <laughs> um, a twelve ounce bottle of soda, but you're not using all twelve. You're just topping. But you you're can make top. multiple drinks. So we're gonna get ice in there. You can make multiple drinks. There you go. Boom. Wasn't he making fun of Boom. this on one of the episodes last week? Heard. 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 and cool. Yep. So, if you want to keep it, yeah, here's the deal. Curtis explained this to me. Did you use the bitters? Not yet. Okay. Curtis said that this was one of the most difficult Worst. challenges he's had. The, you the could challenge cheap cocktails. Yeah, you could challenge him to a whole bunch of things. You could challenge him to make one of the best cocktails in the world, and he'll come up with something. Mm -hmm. You could challenge him to make a cocktail with green chartreuse. You could challenge him to make a cocktail with Everclear. But you challenge him to make a cocktail under thirty bucks. It's a challenge. He's challenged because you don't want to make. You, you need to make it a cocktail that has something going on, but you also need to keep it under amount of money, which means one core spirit. Because it's very rare that you're going to get two core spirits under twenty bucks. Unless you buy some cheap ass right. Gordon's gin, right. Or what's that? G Gilby's vodka, right? You have to, and the goal isn't necessarily make the shittiest ass cocktail you can. It's make a good cocktail under thirty dollars. Yeah. I don't think we're here to make crappy ass cocktails. Tito's vodka is fairly cheap. Um, I don't know what it is around here now. It used to be like seventeen dollars. Now it's probably like twenty. And what I, I um, love these cherry bitters. I don't know. I don't know. That, they they taste good by themselves. Right. So and, you know it'll only make a drink better. Yes. And awesomedrinks.com, in case you're wondering. Yep. Boom. You can get them at awesomedrinks.com. Now, if you don't have somebody said you guys should use Deep Eddy, and I actually found I had two bottles of Deep Eddy. So this is two ounces. This drink calls for two ounces. So if you go to one of those stores, you can find two little plastic bottles like this. Boom! Cocktail in your hand, yo. Um, and and you've got all the rest of the ingredients. You might have to go to Awesome Drinks to get your cherry bitters. Um, so the trick with that is to keep it under thirty dollars. One of the things you may or may not be able to count in there is shipping. shipping. Again, when Ian talks if you're from value, New Zealand, there's your thirty dollars. Well, right yeah. there. New Zealand, you never <laughs> get anything. You can't make anything under thirty dollars. Um, that probably costs more. What did you do? I don't know. Maybe I got some glass in my knuckle. When you hit the, when you drop the straw. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so when you factor in shipping, there's some per value. So there's ways around that. One thing is you could spend fifty dollars worth of stuff you're going to use, mm -hmm. so that you get free shipping. Boom, one way. Huh. The other way is use discount codes in the beginning of the episode to try and reduce that to offset the shipping costs, um, which, unfortunately, if you buy a bottle of cherry bitters with a discount code from Austin Drinks, you hate me <laughs> because I've now lost money. There's no way with the discounts and all the other crap that I'd make any money, but it, sometimes it happens. People buy one little bottle of berry. It, it works better with you to spend more money because instead of saving 37 cents, you're saving Twenty dollars, or if you like sore, and sometimes shipping to Denmark and, and ordering and all this stuff, um, he can save. He saves like a hundred and something dollars when he makes an order, which is impressive. He also uses our newsletter coupon code, which is a little bit more. What's the one for April? Uh, for here? Yeah. For the show? CMC four one five. I got really lazy in this month. I didn't have time. <laughs> no creativity. It smells cherry. I like that. Taste buds with the cherry bitters. I don't know if that's possible. Um, cherry gokish, yeah. A little bit. A little it's bit. a little bit. It, to me, it tastes like a watered down Coke. Um, but it's got vodka in it. I mean, you can taste the. You can taste, taste the heat. There's a couple ounces yeah. of vodka in there. Yeah. Vodka. vodka. This is this is uh, another reason this is on a budget. Is two of these drinks and you're done. Yeah. Right, you don't need to go crazy. That's like four shots, and these will go down fast because it's it's coke. coke. Right, the coke, which is typically over sweetened, and yes, we're using the the, the bad high fructose corn syrup. Because version. I didn't pick up the right real sugar coke. They don't. But. Well, if you need a coke life, I have that already. I, I I wanted to keep it this way because coke life, I think, costs a little bit more. It's pure okay. cane. Fair enough. Um, I think. 
I might have a glass down here. Uh, that one's probably there, but it's been sitting there for a while. So I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't and drink that. there's still that. some in there. It's, pro it's probably growing things at this point. Probably. Uh, it's probably or just really flat. Yeah, it would definitely be flat. I'm not going to drink uh, it. But you can get Coke Life. That's the way I would roll doing this. Mm. But at the same time, those would work. That would probably be more. I don't know how much those bitters cost. Yeah, yet. they're probably not cheap. Um, this. See, I didn't touch the lid. You, didn't, you gargled. You this like poured it right into your throat. That's, yeah, there is a, it is a lot more syrupy than this. Um, yeah. That's definitely more watered down. It removes some of the sweetness by adding the vodka, which makes sense. Yeah. Uh, the sweetness is going to absorb some of that vodka craziness, so you're not getting a massive amount of like ethanol, but you're definitely getting a drink that will taste like it. <coughs> if you like vodka and Coke, I personally... <coughs> Don't have vodka. No. Don't I would go it. the opposite. I would go with rum. Mm. In, go for a cheap rum. Yeah, because I, I, I think a cheap rum costs less than vodka. Yeah. Coke Life is $6 a six-pack. So a oh, dollar a bottle. So that buck a bottle, that's pretty expensive. And this was like three-something for a six-pack, so it's almost twice the price. Yeah. Depending on where you're at, obviously. Yeah, right. Um, uh, question of the day? Yeah, I would love one. Coke or Pepsi? Oh, Coke. my God. Coke or Pepsi? <coughs> my daughter will say Pepsi. My mother will say Pepsi. Everybody else will say Coke, right? Coke. Not people yeah. in the chat room have said Pepsi. Really? People like Pepsi? Soda Pop said Pepsi. I think Pepsi. they're just fucking with us, though. Man. They can't be serious. Soda Pop and tea. Uh, no, I, I, why would they <laughs> can't be serious? <laughs> um... The other thing I, that I've been alluding to for like two episodes, so I went out to the bar, right? Mm. So I, I hit up... Story time! Um, I went someplace drinking. It was really loud. And, oh, it was the end of the night. I had a couple beers. It was a long night, so I had a couple beers plus some other stuff. I don't remember. Probably more than a couple. Um, and then I wanted something with, uh, that would hydrate me. Yeah. So obviously I thought a, a gin and tonic. Yeah. Because it's a gut tonic, and tonic's kind of like water, right? Um... So I got a gin and tonic. Totally. Right. And, and and by the way, I will let you know I didn't spend a freaking dime on any drinks. I drank for five days. I didn't spend it on the five, company. Five, four days. Oh, whoever was buying. It's either on the company. Because everyone do is, wants to buy the drink guy a drink. Well, because one of the guys will open the tab, and I always make sure I'm the last to arrive. Right. And and then I. They're cunning about it. Yeah. And then the tabs open, but they I mean they expense it anyway. They call it a team right. meeting, five times a night. Um. But I ordered a, a Hendrix and tonic, mm. and I was quite. First off, the problem is it came in a highball glass. I've never seen that happen before. Mm. Um, normally, I thought they came in like a smaller glass, but uh, no, if you get a highball, like a Collins glass. Or oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So it was, it was it was like a big highball glass. <clears throat> uh, but I was surprised at how tasty it was. Like, yeah, it was good. And and the next night I, I went out to this other crappy bar, and all they had was Bombay. So I got Bombay. I was like, eh. Not really that good. Like it was, it was way too abrasive. Hendrix is smooth, yeah. And yeah. Like a Bombay or a, and like everybody those, those else juniper Ford like heavy gins or yeah. And in the Hendrix was much more fruity and, and flavorful. Yes. And I don't know how much difference it was when I because I didn't pay for any of it. But I so I was ordering these and everybody's like, whatever Derek's having. I'm like, I'm having Hendrix and tonic. They're like that sounds good. Okay. <laughs> so everybody's ordering Hendrix and tonic. And um and I uh, I met a guy that I work with who's friends with a company called Big Big Gin. Okay. And he does all kinds of alcohol stuff, so I'm going to see if I can get some new product to review. Kind of cool to hook myself up with somebody that actually knows somebody in Seattle that does this. It's good. Uh, but he's like, it's better than everything else. I'm like, well, we'll have to try it while we're having Hendrix and Tonics over this. We'll make that determination. Yeah. So it cannot if, be better than New Amsterdam. I like New Amsterdam. The, no I, place I that I went um, had it's cheap. It's great. Yeah. So I made I put a comment on the video like uh, somebody said, oh, I like New Amsterdam. I like it. Kurt's gonna hate me, but I use it instead of Hendrix a lot of times because it's. Oh, it's I don't good. think Kurt will hate you now. He doesn't and work then he, for that. And company. then he put a comment up. He's like, "No, I like the Amsterdam." Yeah. I, okay. Cool. It would have been good. I think the, the the first problem is I didn't go to any bars in Baltimore, and I heard there's one called Rye, but I didn't get there. Mm -hmm. um, that was an actual craft cocktail bar. No place I went served anything good. Like <laughs> I wouldn't order whiskey sours from any of these places. Like some of these dive bars we were at and I was like we got out of there. You literally get whiskey and sour mix. Yeah, it was like you were walking into places that there if they had Hendrix, which was rare, but when it happened the other thing I noticed is every bar in Baltimore and I've never seen this, their mats all had companies on them. Normally they go with generic ones. Yeah. I there's some with Cuervo. Or something. Uh, yeah, well Normally, you know, it's kind of promoting, and you don't want to you don't want to choose a brand over another. Right. But they were like, they all had different brands every place I went, so I thought that was kind of weird. I figured it wouldn't be that way, but I guess the dive bar will take it. Yeah, it. I mean, we I think at the moon we used to have promo stuff. We'd have the yeah. red, we had the Red Bull fridge, and we had this oh, right. and that. Yeah. 
All right, story time's up. Story time's up. My wife the, the has whipped me. The taskmaster says so. I've been tasked with you ending the episode, with apparently. I'm going to bring over my bullwhip one day, and she can just crack it when we're <laughs> The camera's going to shake <laughs> as it comes back and hits me in the face, and I start bleeding everywhere. They, they make a good crack. Yeah. It will break skin. You know what? It's always good to have good crack. Unless it's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kurt. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I found a video of Kurt showed some clips. It was a live stream. It was, it was a live stream. It wouldn't show up in a real video. <laughs> we have yeah. any game affiliates on those ones. <laughs> For I wouldn't subject all those people to that. So, did we ever ask a question? Yeah. Yeah, Coke or Pepsi. Coke, Coke or Pepsi. Uh, all right. All right. Go get yourself some vodka, some Coke. Get your Collins glasses. It's, you uh, probably already have all that, so you just need Collins. This is a uh, Chicago highball, and this is oh, a awesome. cherry bitter. Boom. That's it. We're done, and we're. Teach you how to drink. Strongest drink of the night. So far, yeah. I'd say the first one was.